Hey everyone, this is Kevin from Borden and Ballin. Right off the bat, if you want any behind the scenes stuff or information on my videos, you can follow me on Instagram. I've got the link below. Today I've got a Attack the Castle game for you from last Scenario Sunday's game. So let's get into it. Enjoy the video. Also guys, if you liked the video, remember to drop a like, comment below any ideas you have, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. What I'm doing right now is I'm working my way around the left side of the field to get to sort of some back, uh, back hill, where I can crawl up and use the hill to get to the castle. So let's see how it goes. So at this point, I see there's a guy in one of the tower windows, and I try and get behind a tree and make sure he doesn't spot me. I think I put one or two balls at him, and then I move off to the left to get around to the flank of the castle. I sit here for a little while in the actual video, so I just cut it out to the part where I move, as you can see now. So right there I got spotted by one of the guys and he threw a couple balls at me. So I just bumped back a little bit right out to the tape lines. You can see the yellow tape on the ground there. And I'm moving around to sort of the thicker parts of the trees so I can sneak up through there and get to the castle. <coughs> So a quick tip for you guys, what I'm going to do is freeze the video, and you can see what I'm talking about. You see how there's that shaded part of the trees, the darker area and the lighter area? You always want to try and stay in the darker area, it makes you uh, a, lot, a lot harder to see, and you can use that to your advantage. Just a quick tip for you. So right now I'm about 50-ish feet from the castle, you can see it up there. At this point, some guy puts his head in the window and I sort of freeze behind some trees. Hopefully he doesn't see me. He doesn't, and I keep crawling up. So I bring my gun up when I move up, just in case his head does pop up. Whenever you're getting close to any cover or something like that, you always want to move with your gun up, just in case. So I know you guys can't see it, but uh, the castle is filled with enemy players. I think there's about 15 or 18 guys in there. So I just sort of figure out where some people are, try and find the VIP, and then I make my way around to the uh, what we call the side door. Big shout out to our ref Justin there in the orange hoodie. Always does a fire job. He's a great guy, running great games. Come check us out, Ultimate Paintball Scenario Sundays, hosted by Unkind Paintball. Here we are at the side door, and now it starts to get good. The enemy players don't know I'm here, so I'm gonna be really, really careful and quiet and try and pick some off without them figuring out where I am. Quick little two-piece there. Sorry about that, James. Taking out the two front towers, and now I'm going to continue. So what I start to do is I look through the cracks to figure out where, where somebody is, and then I'll sort of picture where they are, and then I'll pie the door and shoot them like this. Just checking some of the other tower tops, see if some guy will poke his head up, I can get a clean shot. Doesn't look like it though. Another red guy just bumped up to the wall with me, so eventually we try and communicate with each other silently to take some more guys out. And then here, I think I bounced this guy in the arm, I'm pretty sure. Again, we're just checking that other tower, see if we can catch some guy off guard, doesn't look like it. So 
I missed my three shots on that one. I was kind of like shit in my head, trying not to be loud. It's all right, I'll get him on the next one. So now this red player and I are trying to talk to each other, like, without making noise, and I'm trying to tell him if he goes around, there's a window that he can shoot through, but I don't know if he ever got the right message, but... At this point, the defenders inside the castle kind of know that we're here now. So I almost get mercyed by this guy. Again, mercies are optional in this game. And he didn't 100% have the barrel pointed at me. He's tell I talked to him afterwards. He says the mag got stuck on the window frame, so that kind of saved me. And again, mercies are optional for this game. Hit that point that way. Now we've got quite a few red guys up on the wall with me, and there's some teammates right there who I signal to. I sort of cover the window and signal them to move up so we can get even more people up here. And then the guys on the other side of the door and I sort of work together and I uh, think we throw a smoke in a little bit. So now we got some more unkind guys up here, and we're going to go get them. There's a ladder on the field that we can use, but I never found it, so I'll just speed this part up and come back to the front door. The ref just called out two minutes, now we gotta really get after it. And uh, I think someone has the idea to boost Andrew up over the wall, so us three sort of help him out. I hold his side, two people boost him up like so. And I think he wrecked about two or three people, so good shit, Andrew. Oh, good night, Garrett! Right there, I think I just shot Garrett in the face. <laughs> Sorry, Garrett. <laughs> and now we're signaling with those other guys to throw a smoke over. Back right corner, lying down. There's only one way to win the game, which is eliminate the VIP, so I'm just telling my teammates He's where I'm pretty right sure he is. There's one close to Kevin. Where? Where? Never mind, never mind, he's open. There is one minute left in the game, so now we really gotta get after it and go get the VIP. This corner, under that tower. Rob's under back right tower! I know it's hard to see through the smoke, but right here I shoot a guy in on his wrist, right on arm wrist, on his wrist, wrist and uh, you can see he's him walking out. out shortly afterwards. VIP is dead! VIP is dead! One of my other teammates shot the VIP while I was shooting that guy. That's the VIP there, standing up, and uh, good win red team. Well done, guys. If you guys like these voiceover videos of like the raw gameplay footage of me explaining it, comment below, let me know, and uh, drop a subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Who expected Andrew to keep peeking over the fucking side?